and stay down your was names. Oh hey folks, I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love. Sorry if I feel a bit winded, or if I seem a bit winded. I've just been uh, putting down a few enemy soldiers. Looks like they found me. Anyway, let's not discuss this, and instead move on to today's subject. I just need to find out what it is. Universal Soldier? That can't be right. That's not a good movie. Who in their right mind would... And what are you supposed to be? Well, we might as well give this some backstory. Released in 1992, Universal Soldier is the story of Luke Devereux and his quest to regain his old life, which is hampered by his squad's bloodthirsty sergeant, Andrew Scott. This was Roland Emmerich's first box office hit, followed soon after by Stargate and Independence Day, two films I'd much rather be watching. Well, we might as well get this over with. I'm Funky Monkey, and welcome to Universal Soldier. It's 1969 in the jungles of Vietnam, and a lone soldier just wants to go home. But he must recover his commander, Sergeant Scott. You turn around, they stagger in the back. Sarge. My tour is up. I just want to go home. But Sergeant Scott has other plans. You're a traitor too, aren't you? No. Prove it. That's an order! And so, Private Luke Devereux meets his end. Text. I will have my revenge! Cut to 1992. Terrorists are holding hostages at a damn visitor's centre. But a crack team of Universal Soldiers is deployed to put pay to them. Gear 44 is in position. Take aim. But a familiar face sparks a flashback and Luke Devereux momentarily regains consciousness. Respond. I think we should take him out of the program until we can run some tests on him and find out what's going on in his head. GR-44 stays with the program. But Colonel, he just got a little mixed up. Just give him the serum. As the sun sets, a redundant reporter takes the news into her own hands. Don't worry folks, he's not actually dead. No he isn't Mr. Psycho, see for yourself. There you are, you see? Not dead after all. What'd you get? Redemption. Let's get out of here. Hey, what'd you do this time, Ryan? But her escape doesn't go entirely to plan. Sergeant Scott shoots the cameraman. Hey, hey, she didn't do anything. And Luke Devereaux remembers. Devereaux absconds once the reporter, one Veronica Roberts, removes his headset. I must follow orders. But commanding officer Colonel Perry is not amused. Would allow the regeneration of dead soldiers? 
American soldiers? If this is uncovered now, we're all going to jail. All of which begs the question, who authorized this program in the first place? Okay, fine, jeez. When the fuel runs out, our mismatched pair find a petrol station. But there's no petrol! Ran out of gas yesterday. Uh, refueling truck will be here in the morning. Luckily, this place also doubles as a motel. But oh dear, the news reports that Roberts shot her cameraman. Witnesses allege that Veronica Roberts, a CNA correspondent, shot him after an apparent argument. No. Can I just ask how this news got leaked to the media so damn quickly? <sighs> alright, alright already! And after a refreshing ice bath, Devereaux begins to come to terms with the fact that he's 25 years in the future. But the revelations will have to wait as the remaining Unisols attack! Our heroes commandeer a new car and escape. Well, that whole scene was entirely pointless. Damn you, Red Text! I can't keep taking this! What the hell did they do to you? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. And so, the pair pull into another petrol station to remove the tracker on Devereaux. I think I found something. Cut it out. Cut it out? Yes, dear. Cut it out. The advice I could give this entire movie. <laughs> ah! Ah! Damn you, Red Test! <sighs> the tracking device is removed. Are you okay? Yeah. And none too soon, as the truck of doom is still in hot pursuit. Yay! Something blew up! But they won't catch our heroes, who use the chaos to infiltrate the truck and grab the records they need. Got it, got it. Colonel Perry receives word that the top brass are pulling the plug. Pack it up! But Sergeant Scott is Unisol no more and assumes command. Andrew Scott. At a diner, Roberts picks over the finer points of the project's history. But apparently. Whatever they've done to you, it's been done on a genetic level. But they constantly refer to a Dr. Christopher Gregorna. Do you think you can help me? Oh, well, it's you know, definitely worth a shot. Using all her press foo, Roberts uncovers the location of Dr. Gregor, the man behind the origination of the project. But, as is often the case, a misunderstanding leads to a brawl. We got ourselves a deadbeat back here. <laughs> Now, the punchline. How was lunch, huh? A funny joke? I don't believe it! An actual funny joke! In this movie! It only took about an hour or so to get to this point! Our heroes find Dr. Gregor, who explains the process. By hyper-accelerating the bodies, we discovered that we could turn dead flesh into living tissue. But to make the process work, the bodies ran at dangerously high temperatures, needed to be constantly cooled, the brain sedated, controlled. Trauma inflicted at the time of death. In Luke's case, he wanted to go home. As for Scott, 
He thinks he's still in Vietnam fighting the insurgents. Oh, that Nam, man. That freaking Nam. Wait a minute. I'm British, and I was born in 1979, and I've never even been anywhere near Vietnam. In fact, the furthest I've ever been is Sweden, so... What am I talking about? The pair prepare to part ways. He's only coming after me. You know, you're, you're making a big mistake here. But oh dear. And to make matters worse, Sergeant Scott isn't far behind. How much longer? Luckily, our heroes survive and make their way back to Luke Devereaux's home in Louisiana. Mrs. Devereaux? Luke. C'est pas possible. John, come here! Oh, Luke, oh, please! And they all lived happily ever after. So that was. <laughs> WHY DO YOU TORTURE ME?! Oh, of course. The villain. But oh dear, Sergeant Scott survived. Looking for something? And history repeats itself as the two have a climactic battle in the yard of Devereaux's home. <laughs> But this time, there's a difference. Good night, that's all. You're discharged, Sarge. Ooh! Nasty. But shock! Veronica Roberts is alive! Where is he? Aaron. And so our movie ends as the two embrace. So, at last, that was Universal Soldier. Not so fast, red boy. I'm not putting this blood-soaked, expletive-laden, Z-movie schlockfest into my house of love. Sure, it's competently acted, unerringly directed, and even scored by Babylon 5 composer Christopher Frankie. But the direction is unspectacular, the protagonist soaked in angst, and the story seems... manipulative. Oh sure, Lundgren's sadistic Sergeant Scott rapes as a classically bad baddie. But this is nasty, violent entertainment, and certainly not for the likes of me. Blue text, you're okay! Right, let's put an end to this. That wasn't as difficult as I thought it'd be, but they know where I'm at now.
I'll have to get the Legionnaires together. But I'll worry about that another time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and join me next week for hopefully a better movie. So long, folks.